Okay, now if you're someone who use swipe gestures on your Samsung Galaxy phone, then you might want to consider increasing the gesture sensitivity. What I mean to say is, when you use the left back gesture or right back gesture, you will have to swipe from the edge of the screen by default. Now, if you want, you can actually increase the sensitivity of this area so that you don't really have to use the extreme edge of the screen. Let's say if you want to customize this gesture handle at the bottom, you can do that as well. You can increase or decrease the gesture handle width, adjust the transparency, and even change the color of the gesture handle on your Samsung Galaxy 4. Now, let's say you're not into swipe gestures and you prefer having buttons at the bottom for navigation, you can customize that as well. You can add additional buttons to it instead of having just three buttons there. You can customize the navigation bar height, you can even make that bar to hide whenever you don't want it. There are plenty of customization options for your navigation gestures as well as the navigation bar or the buttons on your Galaxy phone. Before we go ahead, I would like to wish you a very happy and prosperous new year to this entire community. The support has been great for the last couple of years and I wish to see the same support this year as well from you guys. I will be bringing some amazing contents on the channel so stay tuned and stay subscribed. Now let's move on. Now to customize the navigation bar or the swipe gestures, all you need is a good luck module called NAV star. Let me open good luck here. You see NAV star is available right here. Now if these modules or the good luck is not available in your region, all you need to do is just download the fine lock or nice lock application on which you can download all these uh, applications through the APKs. You will be able to use these features even if you don't have the good luck in your region. Now let me open NAV star. You can see we've got uh, two options here, buttons and swipe gestures. We can customize the swipe gestures in this particular page. As you can see, the first thing we discussed is the back gesture sensitivity. Now you see, we this is the default uh, left and right back gesture uh, sensitivity, uh, which is set here. Now you see, I have to swipe from the edge of the screen to use this swipe gesture. Now if you increase this sensitivity, let me increase it on both. Now you see, uh, this indicates that this blue color indicates the sensitivity area here you see this is the sensitivity area which is shown in a blue color here now when i've increased this you see i don't really have to go to the edge of the screen i can swipe right from here you see the button is appearing here the back gesture button i can execute the back gestures without even touching the edge of the screen. This is fantastic. Now let's move on to the gesture handle customization. As you can see, we've got gesture handle width customization. We can increase the width or decrease the width. We can change the transparency of the gesture handle right here. And we can also set a color for the gesture handle, which is just perfect. You see the green color has been applied on the gesture handle here. You can select whichever color you want. You can change the back gesture sensitivity. And we also have a couple of options here, which is important. We've got an option, allow back gesture in full screen, allow side back gesture in full screen mode such as game, videos, etc. Now, if you're playing a video in full screen mode or playing a game in full screen mode, you will be able to use the gestures if you have enabled this particular toggle here. Otherwise, if you have not turned on this feature, the back gestures or the swipe gestures will not work if you are playing a game or playing a video on the phone in landscape mode. So make sure you enable this particular toggle so that you can go back using the back gestures when you're playing media or games in full screen. Now this is about the swipe gesture customization. Now let's move to the buttons. Now let me tap on buttons. Now here, if I enable this, it says uh, to use NAV star button settings, you need to change the navigation bar to the bottom uh, button type uh, so we can tap on ok here i will select uh, it's going to take me directly to the navigation bar settings on the uh, default settings menu now i will select buttons now let uh, you, you see we have got the buttons right here now let's go back uh, to the nav star now here let me enable this particular option this is where we customize the navigation buttons now you see i have already set an additional button here we'll be able to configure and set new buttons let me tap on new configuration here as you can see we have got button layout at the bottom we've got button color at the bottom uh, these can be customized as well now what i'm going to do is i will tap on button layout now here i will tap on add button to add a new button. Let me tap on add button. You see, we have got a few options here. We've got limited number of options here. Of course, we cannot set something beyond this. Uh, we have got camera, screen capture, screen off, uh, internet. Uh, these options are uh, something which you can set. And rest of the options are like for fast forwarding the video or audio. We also have options like volume up and volume down button, which can be controlled right from the navigation buttons here. Now I've selected screen capture, which is showing up right here. I can also select an additional option. I just have one button here now i'll also select internet you see i got two bo uh, buttons right here and i can just tap on done and tap on save now you see the new configuration is right here at the uh, bottom i can select this you see we
we've got two extra buttons here. One is for screen capture. I can tap on this to instantly capture the screen. And I can also tap on uh, the internet icon here from the, uh, these buttons uh, to directly go to the internet options. I'll just select internet and tap on always. Now what happens is it will directly take me to the internet whenever I tap on the internet icon here, you see. I can directly go to the internet application by tapping on this icon. So uh, likewise, you can set a few other functions on these buttons. So we've got five buttons here, the back button, the home button, the recents button, and then two additionally customized buttons. One is for screen capture. The other one is for the internet. You see, we have got one dot over here. I can tap on this dot to, uh, I can double tap in fact on this dot to disable the uh, uh, the bar. I will have to swipe from the bottom to see these navigation bars. So this button can be enabled by enabling this particular option here. You see we've got an option show and hide button. Uh, add a button to the left side of the navigation bar to show or hide the navigation bar. If you enable that, you're gonna see that particular button there. If you disable this, you will not see that button here and you cannot uh, hide this uh, navigation button or the navigation bar. Now, let me enable this. You see this button appears here. I can double tap on that to disable this particular bar or uh, just to hide this navigation bar. Now that's how we uh, do that. Now let's move on. Uh, you can see we've got an option show on home screen. Show the navigation bar always on One UI home screen. If you don't want this to happen, you can just disable this. And let me just go to the home screen now. You see the navigation bar is not visible at all. I can just swipe up from the bottom to see the navigation buttons here. And I can just double tap on this button to uh, make this navigation bar visible permanently on the home screen. Now let's go back. Now here we have got an option to customize the navigation bar height. You can use the wider screen by adjusting the height of the navigation bar. You see uh, this is in a medium size. I can increase it to large and I can also decrease it to small to use the screen real estate in a better way. But I would prefer keeping it in medium size. So it is up to you guys. However you want to set it, you can do that. Uh, this is the customization of navigation bar height. Now this is how we customize the navigation buttons or swipe gestures on Samsung Galaxy phones. NAV Star module is all that you need on good luck. Go ahead, download it and start customizing your navigation button or the swipe gestures, whichever you prefer. That's all I want to share with you guys. Let me know what you think. Once again, a very happy and prosperous new year to you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. We are inching closer to 100k subscribers. With your support, I will be able to reach there very, very soon. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.